joining me today. So in today's video, I have my seventh update for the Beauty A to Z Project Pan. This is a Pantastic Ladies collab. Started back in January. I believe it's coming back again in January 2022. If you want to jump on the on the train, the alphabet train, come on, ride the train. Okay, never mind. <laughs> no more singing, Misty. No more singing. So I missed August update. A lot of you guys know, I've mentioned it before. I was down with my back and I just wasn't filming. Um, so I have two months worth of progress. I do have empty, so I'm excited to say that. Um, and if you missed it back in June, I refreshed this project because by the end of May, I'd already used up 19 products. So I brought 19 more back in and I have some more empties and we're gonna talk about that. But first on my eyes today is the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette and then a little bit of the blue from my J-Cat palette. But the thing I wanted to talk about first is this. This is the new Oma Beauty Sharon C um, foundation from Walmart. And I picked this up and Andrea from um, Pretty as a Peacock mentioned in her That's Expensive Project Pan that she was interested in getting this. I am a dry girl and I have a lot of redness and I, I've only used this once so I'm going to have to use it again. I just don't think this is for me. Um, my biggest issue with it, with it is it doesn't build. Like you can't, you can't add anything on top of it without it removing what's underneath as far as trying to build up coverage. Um, my face looks a hot mess if you, <laughs> you could probably see in the up close pictures. Um, I have like four layers of foundation on my face today. Um, just so I could try to build it up or make it look pretty and so we're going to we're going to Home Depot later to pick out paint samples I don't know that I'm gonna go looking like this but anyway that's neither here nor there that's not what you're here for but I just wanted to give a quick update I am gonna keep um, testing this the only reason why I picked this up is because I needed to get something else from walmart.com and I wanted next day delivery and I think you have to spend like $35 and I want to say this was like eight or nine so yeah anyway there we go. Okay, let's start with the update. Yay. Okay, let's start. <laughs> this is my Beekman 1802 um, Retinol Booster. It's called the Dream Booster, booster but it's basically a um, vegetable plant-based retinol and I was basically brand new and you can see where I am now. I mentioned before, I love this. Pick it up. I literally had results the, like the very next day on my skin. I love it. I use this nightly unless I'm exfoliating, but I notice that I don't have to exfoliate nearly as much if I'm staying on top of this and my skincare product. So there's that. Oh, I forgot to mention. So if you watched my last project update, which I think was that's expensive, I mentioned that or throwback 30, my, my scale isn't working. I bought a new one and I haven't had a chance to pull it out of the box. So I don't have any weights for you, but there are measurements because it's been two months. Okay, number two, this is the Philosophy Lemon Custard. I went and watched back my video. I think I was like right here and with the, even with the line, ugh, the writing. Here's where we are now. Hate it, already talked about that. Next we have the Daisy Dream. Can someone tell me how to get the damn rollerball out of this? I, I use this every day, every day, and I've barely made any progress. And I think it's because the roller ball. I feel like I don't get enough on my body to smell like much of anything. E was the e.l.f. Um, that I finished already. F is the Pharmacy Green Clean. I finally finished that one from Golden Molecules, and I've started on this one, and you can see I've kind of gouged on the inside, I was trying to get that really cool Instagram, you know, video where you're trying to like get the first swipe or whatever. <laughs> I was trying to do it one-handed, that was so dumb. So I gouged it, but I'm happy to be using this. Ooh, happy to be using this. D E A E F G. G is the Go Big Mascara from K um, KVD. It's just a sample. I used it today. Um, it's under these lashes. These are the Ardell something or other. Ardell 105 Glamour things. They're pretty. I like them. Anyway, so that, I can't measure it. So that's that. H is my Honeymoon Glow. <laughs> 
So when the last time I saw you guys, this was right side up and we were about halfway through and you can see where we are now. I've already repurchased a backup the other day. It's on its way. I love this. This is a chemical exfoliant. It has AHAs and BHAs and you use it maybe once or twice a week. I've mentioned before I'm really dry, but if I keep up with my skincare every once in a while, I get a dry patch right here. Don't mind this bronzer. It's pretty damn patchy, but anyway. Um, so yeah, this is really good. It's very expensive. So I would suggest signing up for their email because if you sign up, you get like 15 or 20% off. And then um, they have a really good sell at Black Friday. And when Black Friday comes around, I will probably get two of these. Um, I think this is my second one I've gone through this year. I honestly can't remember, but I love it. I love the green clean and I love this. I think they're both worth it, but get them at a discount. Okay, okay. H I I is so I maybe no, there's two of them. I is one of the only products that's still in this from the very beginning, and that's this. This is my I Unique Vitamin Hyaluronic Acid Vitalizing Toner, and you can see where we are. I I think I I think this is probably gonna go to October, November. Um I use this twice a day on my face. Um it doesn't take a whole lot. I do like two, maybe three shakes and get it all over my face. I like it. I don't think it's a necessary step for me. Um it's just a moisturizing toner and I don't need to tone because I don't have issues with pores whatsoever. In fact, I have like one right there. <laughs> one you can see on my face but I don't think this is that expensive and if you are someone who like needs the extra moisture or whatever or you just enjoy like an essence this is really good but again not a necessary step in my makeup routine I J J is this this is the marula and jasmine tree hut scrub I've mentioned in the past that I put these in these little four quart containers because this is really hard for me to grip this is hard for me to grip today I'm about to have finger surgery so um yeah so I have I just started it you can see I've used it one time this should be done by the next update um we'll see I'm having hand surgery and we'll see how bathing goes for, for a few weeks jk h-i-j-k k is this this is the roll honey and kalahari desert melon um mask from not your mother's I put it again in the amazing grace I probably have two or three more uses out of this this will be um empty by the next update so I mentioned that I bought this to smell it so I can see if I like the scent and I do and I bought the shampoo and conditioner that will be the first shampoo and conditioner I've bought from this not your mother's natural line so I'm really excited to try it and then I have the green tea and matcha mask Apple and green, apple blossom and green tea matcha mask in my throwback 30 because of Jessica Lee. So yeah, this was okay. Um, I find that it makes my hair greasy the second day. So I definitely have to kind of concentrate this on my tip, tips of my hair. So it's not one that I would repurchase, but I'm glad I smelled it for $2 and bought it so I, you know, so I could smell the shampoo and conditioner because I bought this last year when you know COVID had just started. So yeah, so this is going to be empty the next time we talk. JKL. L was also in here from the beginning. And it was this. Look at it. It's done. The, if, if you watch my empties, you've already seen this. This was a mix of the L'Oreal True Match Lumi and the Bourjois Healthy something, something, something. So this is done, and that means I have finished two foundations already this year. So hoot and Annie. Okay, L M. M is the Milani concealer palette. I am focusing on the salmon shade. Um, I have not hit pan yet, but I'm making pretty good progress. Every time I wear makeup, oh no, I have hit pan. <gasps> you can just barely see it. Where's the Q-tip? <laughs> it's just barely there. Holy crap. How did I miss it? It's just boop. <laughs> see how tiny that is? Can you guys even see that? I didn't even notice it. Yay, I hit pan. I think that was his goal, but I'm gonna go until I finish this. I really like this formula. Um, I don't think they make this anymore. I think this replaced, or this was replaced by their Conceal and Perfect Concealer, which is way too dry for me. But this is really, really good. 
um, and I hit pan. So hot damn. So I'm going to keep going and see if I can get it finished this year. Woot woot. J K L M N N. <laughs> In was a body butter, uh, one of those whipped body oils that I showed you guys before that I got from an Etsy shop. And I think the scent was called Butt Naked. I put that on two times and I was like, nope, this is not the scent for me. And even Rob was like, what is that smell? So I went ahead and dumped that and I'm not bringing anything else in. So N is done. We're calling it a day. It's done. And I am starting another scent from her it's called cashmere glow or whatever i think it's supposed to be a dupe for a bobby brown fragrance that one's not too bad that's in my throwback 30. um that one's not too bad but whew, that butt naked mm -mm, i don't know what it was always with the lipstick i don't know what it was but it won't it wasn't good it was not good and and oh oh was the ola henriksen eye cream and I finished this up. I think this was also in my empties back in June. I watched my last update and these were still in it. So if I'm repeating myself, it's because I missed a video or something, but yeah. So another one bites the dust. P was the passion fruit mask and I finished that one too. Um, I'm not gonna dig out the packaging. You guys must have seen it before. Q is this one. This was from Clinique. This is the Take the Day Off Makeup Remover. This was a liquid. This was okay. Um, I actually purchased another one from Clinique to try to see if I like it. I When I wear glitters, and I'm not wearing glitters today, but when I wear glitter, I like to use a, a, a makeup remover. And then I'll go in with my green clean and then I'll, so it's it's almost like a triple cleanse, but for me, I don't want to be rubbing in glitter into my eyes and into my face. So I just wipe it off, usually in one wipe, and then I'll go in with the green clean or whatever. So that's how I use um, a makeup remover. So I did buy this one and I bought the L'Oreal to try. So this is done. It was all right. Um, not my favorite, but it did the job. R Q R. <laughs> That's the revolution highlight. I really have no, I can't show you any progress, you guys. Maybe there's a little dip. Maybe. This was a highlighter palette, their baked formula, and I took three and put them into one, and I've slowly been making progress on it. Is that a dip? I don't even know. <laughs> This is beautiful. It's what I have on my face today. I just need to reach for this more. Um, my goal is like to hit pan by the end of the year. I don't know if it'll happen, but we'll see. So that was our S is another empty. And that's this. This is the Joa Selfie Ready Setting Spray. This was really good. I really liked it. Um, I don't know that I would repurchase it because I already have a couple of other dewy skin mists that I like. But I think it was, I mean, if you find it at Costco, CVS, and it's on sale, I say go for it. T. You guys. You guys. You guys. You guys. You guys. Da, 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 da. This is the third concealer I finished in this project. There's a little, little bit at the very, very edge, but I can't get it anymore. And I put this, like, I the last use was today, and it was a little tangly. It burned a little bit. So I figured that was the um, the best time because it it's just about empty. There's, like, a little tiny bit at the end. So I have finished three concealers in this project, and I believe this is my fifth or sixth concealer I have finished this year. And I am painting one, two, three, four, five, five more. <laughs> so, yes! Yeah, done. T U U is my Ulta watermelon sleeping mask. I've definitely made progress on this. Um, I've mentioned before, I love this. Get it when Ulta puts it on sale if you want to try it. This may be a dupe for the glow recipe. I don't know. I've only tried their nice cinnamide drops. I like to use an overnight mask on the nights that I exfoliate with the Honeymoon Glow. So I'll put on the Honeymoon, honeymoon Glow, I'll let it sit in, and then I'll go on top of it with this. And the next morning, my skin is just mwah, so good. 
so so good i'm really liking the routine that i have i feel like i really feel like it's a good routine for me i am like keeping some texture right here and that might just be um me not cleaning correctly maybe it is something that i'm using but um yeah i i, I really really love this mask <sighs> v i've done x oh no w w is this this was the Watermelon Tree Hut Body Butter. This has been out of stock on Ulta for like two months now. I keep looking. This smells delicious. The Watermelon Scrub, eh, no. Just say no. That one was so bad. I think I talked about that in my Throwback 30 update. It was so gross. It was so bad. But that Watermelon <laughs> Body Butter, they better not retire that. I'm going to be a mad fat girl let me tell you okay let's get the x x is this this is the nyx bear with me um prime set and refresh i've been using this in my skincare you can see where my last line is and where i am now this should be finished by the next update but this is another one that's taking forever i use this twice a day i use this after like in the morning i just use a micellar water and then i'll go in with this and then I'll go in with my toner so my face is wet when I put my toner on. And then I do the same thing at night. So I don't know what's taking this so long. You know what? Let's spray some right now. My face could use it. From what I understand, they are discontinuing this line. I mean, this is good. This line was expensive. And the Bear With Me Jelly Primer, I ended up just using that as a moisturizer. So, yeah. That is X, Y, and Z are done. So that is it. So I finished, how many? Well, I hit goal on one, finished one, two, three, four, five, six. Six more projects, <laughs> products in this project. I think that gets me, I think I'm at 40 products finished in this 26 product. <laughs> Um, 26 product collection. What is this called? Project brain. Oh my word. So yeah, I'm really, really excited. I hope that bear with me spray is done next time. I, I think I have a few more months of this depending on my skin. This may or may not be done along with the honeymoon glow. The scrub should be done. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five. That'll be five or six more products next month. So yeah. But anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. I apologize there are no weights, but once I get my new skill set up, I'm going to weigh everything that's in a project, get all of my um, weights updated because everything I weighed, either in Throwback 30 or That's Expensive, went up. And not even went up one gram. We're talking about like five grams. And I'm like, good lord. But I'm making progress. I'm using stuff up. I don't know how good my empties will be in October um, because I haven't worn a lot. I haven't gone through a lot. But anyway, that's... <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please join. Just hit the subscribe button. I'm here Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays for the most part. Um, what else do I have to tell you? That's it. Thank you for helping me get to 300. I said it 289 for forever. So that was a fun milestone to make on this channel. Um, if you didn't know, I have two others. I actually have four others, but I haven't started the fourth one. That's a booktube channel. But I have this one. I have At Home with Misty, where I kind of talk about life and health and stuff. And then I have the Jolly Fat Elf, where I do cards and coloring and all that other good stuff. So yeah. All right, guys. I love you. I'm sorry I was so chatty Kathy today, but I don't know why. But, it, uh, but I am, and there you go. So I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye for now. Oh, 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 come back Thursday because I have a new project intro that I'm really excited about. Okay, now that's it. <laughs> Bye for now.